and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and this is my channel where I share all about my making adventures. Today I have just knitting. Oh, but take that back. I have my crochet granny stripe. Almost forgot about that. So I've got knitting and crochet to show you today. I have one finished object and I brought down four works in progress to share with you. Today is Thursday, February 22nd. It is 8 16 a.m. This is episode 218. <laughs> I hope that you're all doing well since we chatted last week. I hope you've got something to drink. I've of course got coffee. This is actually my first cup of coffee and something to work on and you're ready to catch up. Before I forget, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the crazy sock lady and I will have links right down below this video for everywhere that you can find me as well as links to project pages for everything that I'm going to show you, shops that I talk about, all that'll be linked right down there for you. So let's just jump in with finished objects, shall we? I finished my February freckled whimsy socks. So this is the Christmassy yarn club, the February colorway. And if you're new here, I'm getting this colorway every month and trying to knit it up in the month that I receive it in my heel toe do -si do pattern. This month's colorway was called Christmas Playlist. And I get, I can't remember when I signed up if there were different options, but it is, the one that I get is a sock set. So it has the full skein and then the mini skein with it. So that's what I used for heels. Um, and cuffs. And again, this is my heel toe do -si do pattern. I did just do a knit to purl to ribbing for the cuff. I think the pattern has like a twisted rib maybe. I can't remember, but I always just do a knit to purl to. It's just such a good stretchy cuff. I did 20 rounds. I think I did 60 rounds for the leg, the slip stitch heel that's in the pattern, all of that stuff. Toe. Again, I just love how this works up in self-striping. You're gonna hear me say that a lot this year, <laughs> but this really is my favorite sock pattern for self-striping. There's the front of the sock. The pattern is only on the front. And these colors, again, every month, that's why I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna end up getting this the whole year because it's just so pretty. And I think it'll be so much fun in December to have all these socks ready to go and waiting on me to wear. But that is my only finished object this week. Let's see, for those I did the size medium, US 1, 2.25 millimeter. I did work them up on Magic Loop. I've had a lot of people ask where the nine inch needles are. I've just been in the Magic Loop kick lately, so that's what we're going with. <laughs> what else about those? So I started those on February 13th and finished them on February 19th. And I think that's all I've got about those finished objects or finished socks. <laughs> I'm really excited. I've still been tracking grams in, grams out, finished objects, all those things. And I'm excited. It won't be next week. It'll be the week after because next week I think what I record will be the last day of the month. Um, so it'll be the week after next that I'll share my February stats. And so far, knock on wood, they've been pretty good. I can't wait to total everything up and share it with you. Works in progress. I, like I said, I brought four down. Let's talk about why it's sweater first. It's in a bag that a viewer sent me. And I finished the first sleeve. I'll put all the pattern details right up here on the screen for you. The yarn that I'm using is Knit Picks Swish Worsted Weight and Pinecone Heather. And the first sleeve. Oh, actually, had I finished the first sleeve the last time we talked? I feel like I had. Because I, yes, I had. I'm telling you this like it's something so exciting. I already showed you that sleeve. <laughs> so this is where I was last time. I'm like, I moved that marker over. I know I had to have finished that sleeve. That's where I was last time, where that marker is. And that is how far I have gotten. I just have my cable needle 
attach there. Those are the ones that I like to use. I've tried other ones and I just, I just can't use other ones. These are my favorite. I do, I think I have these linked on my Amazon storefront. I'm pretty sure they're just Susan Bates maybe. I can't remember. But that's where I'm at. Still doing one chart repeat a day. And yeah, still enjoying it. That's my Twin Mountain Handcrafts Progress Keeper. I know, like, this seems like it has been going so fast. I'm moving my Progress Keeper up. So I wonder where I was next week. This seems like it's going so fast, but I know that body's going to take, it's going to take a little longer. But I'm enjoying the process still. Um, if you're new here, this is a sweater that I am making for my son, Wyatt, my youngest son. This is what he picked out. The sweater, this yarn. Hopefully he loves it. <laughs> yeah, this sleeve. I can't believe I forgot I showed you guys that. I have that done. Goodness. All right. That's kind of it for the sweater. I'm just still working along um, on the sleeve. So you've already seen one sleeve, so you know what it looks like. But I just sit down and I do one chart repeat a day. I don't think, I haven't done two a day in a while there for a while I was but sticking to just one chart repeat has been pretty nice I think it's really gonna help keep me from getting too burnt out on it all right let's talk socks and then I'll show you my progress on my granny stripe blanket got some socks for Wyatt going this is in a bag from knit for brains and on the first sock. This is out of Regia Perfect. The color is 07124. Right there. And I am, yes, I'm through the gusset. So here's the first one. And the Regia Perfect is the one that has the yellow guide yarn. And so it tells you where to start your sock and then you just do your cuff until the color changes and then you go into your leg. These stripes right here were right before the heel. So I just did a slip stitch heel flap. I'm just doing my vanilla socks. Um, Magic Loop US1 2.25 millimeter 32 inch chow goo. Um, 64 stitches. <laughs> Knit you pearl to your ribbing for the cuff. Don't know how many rounds because like I said, I just went until the color changed. I think there ended up being 70 rounds for the leg. Yes, 70 rounds for the leg. So it ended up being a little bit longer than I would normally do for his socks. But Wyatt said that is okay with him. He's still been wearing his other socks that I've made him regularly. So... I'm just gonna keep making him socks. I also started the yarnable socks that I am going to make socks for my niece Lily and my niece Henley out of. This is in a bag from Mountain State Stitches. And I am through the gusset and into the foot on this first sock out of Lily's pair. I did use the Rabbits with Swords by, let me show you the tags. Holly Press Fibers. It's the gray. Rabbits with Swords is the name of the color. And then the main skein is Yarnable. Love is Love. It's this month's colorway. And I did take y'all's advice and doing heels, toes, and cuffs um, with the gray to make sure I have enough yarn left over for my blankets. <laughs> But I am loving how this is working up. I've got this cute. Oh, is it going to focus? Cute unicorn on here. I think that's from The Littlest Charm. Almost positive. That's where I got that from. I'm terrible about remembering where 
some of my progress keepers are from, but this one's a pretty recent purchase and I'm pretty sure that's where I got that one from. I thought it would be cute for my niece's um, projects, particularly Lily because she loves unicorns. <laughs> so for Lily's socks, I'm doing US 1 2.25 millimeter magic loop. 60 stitches is what I have done for hers. She's kind of like 64 is just a little bit too big. I feel like next year though, 64 is going to work good. She's eight. Um, so I'm doing 60. I do not have that rote, like those counts into my pattern, but it's just 60 stitches, knit two, purl two, rib. I think I did 18 rounds. And then I will put some notes on my Ravelry project page for the heel, how the heel turn is worked and all of that. So that is Lily's socks. Once I finish her pair, I will start Henley's pair and they'll have matching socks from Auntie K. How many did I do for the leg? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 for the leg. Just in case anyone is wondering. <laughs> Again, I try to always remember to put all of that on my Ravelry project pages. How many for cuff, leg, all of that. All right, last thing is my crochet granny stripes. Crazy quick episode. I feel like I've flown through everything this morning. <laughs> my granny stripe, I have made a ton of progress on so much. I am on the last magic knot ball. If you'll remember, I started with five and now I'm on the last one. I can't wait to tell you all the totals. I haven't totaled everything up, but I'm keeping track of every magic knot ball and what it weighed. So I can't wait to tell you how much I added in this month. Hopefully I'll get this done by the end of the month. That's kind of my goal is to finish up that one. That last one is 100.9 grams. And this project, I am not following a pattern. I do have a tutorial linked on the Ravelry project page that walks you through how to do a granny stripe blanket if you want to take a look at that. Um, the crochet hook that I'm using is a 2.5 millimeter Tulip Atimo. I chained 300, I almost said 100, 300. It's a very big blanket. See where my markers are from last time. All right, scoot back here so I can stand up. Look how big it's getting. It is so beautiful. All right, this is where I was, where this marker is. That's where I was last week when I recorded. Look how much progress I've made. This section right here was like wild. I changed color so often in that magic knob ball. I don't know what those leftovers were from. That ball was from ages ago, but it looks so crazy because I changed colors so often. <laughs> I really don't know what the yarn was from because the magic knob ball was just one that I had found in my scraps, but I, I had some people ask if I've started another magic knot ball and I have, um, I talked before about how I'm doing, I put five grams aside for my cozy memories and I add my square into my cozy memories. It takes about 3.1 grams for a square in mine. And then the leftovers from that five grams I'm putting into a magic knot ball. So the idea that I like have in my head is that once I'm caught up on this, I will maybe once a month pull out that magic knot ball from the cozy memories bag, add that magic knot ball into the blanket and just keep doing that until it's done or until I'm like, I want to finish this off. So I make another like bigger magic knot ball. <laughs> um, Cause these are, I always look at my scrappy blankets as long-term projects. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with them taking a while and just working on them here and there. Right now I'm just in the zone of trying to get caught up because I've the here and there got pushed to like hardly ever them getting work done. So now I want to get caught up in all the scraps that I have for them, added into them 
So that's the pro process that I'm doing right now. I think I talked about that a bit last week, but I did have some questions. So I wanted to make sure I talked about that. Yes, I've started another magic knot ball. This will not finish it off. And I'll just keep adding that in. Like I said, until I'm like done with it or I'm like, okay, we're gonna finish this and I'm gonna pull out some more scraps and make <laughs> some more magic knot balls. We will see what happens first. I don't typically get tired of my scrappy projects though. I will say I am ready to be done with my DK weight jelly roll. <laughs> I'm still working on it. I'll show it. I should be caught up on it next week. So I'll show it next week. I'm adding in February's row one minis to it right now. I'm, I think yesterday I added in mini number seven out of 10. I do one a day until all 10 are added. I think I'm working on a strip right now and I think I'm gonna have one more strip after this. I keep saying that, just maybe one more strip. I want to make sure it's a good size. I don't wanna just finish it to finish it because I love it. It's so squishy. It's gonna be so nice and cozy. So I wanna make sure it's a perfect size, but I'm just kind of ready to think about the next project that I'm gonna use the Row 1 Minis in, which I haven't decided yet. I think what I might do, I have a granny square blanket that's going. I was using a homespun house scraps in that, but I'm kind of thinking I'm just gonna throw that to the wayside and just make it any yarn. And I think I'm gonna use my row one minis. I was holding fingering weight double for it. I'm almost positive. I need to look back at the project page. So I think I could do what I'm doing for the DK weight jelly roll and hold those minis together with themselves, crochet up some more squares, finish that blanket off and be done with that. That's kind of what I'm thinking will that be the next thing my row one minis go into. They won't have their own separate project. They'll just help me finish off another project that really hasn't been touched in a long time. I don't remember the last time I touched that one. So <laughs> it needs some love and attention. All right, that's it for the, the knitting and the crocheting and all the yarny things today. Nothing has arrived in the mail. Yes, I've been good. I have not ordered any yarn. It's been a couple of weeks. <laughs> Other than like my freckled whimsy, yarnable row one, those kinds of things. I've not ordered any other yarn. There is somebody that Eric works with that he wants me to make socks for. And I know um, this guy, I've met him before and actually like joked about making him socks. And I guess he's always saying, it's okay, I'm still waiting on those socks. I'm like, does this guy really want a pair of socks? Because I thought he was just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just going to make him a pair of socks. So Eric is supposed to let me know today. He's like, I am pretty sure this is his sports team. And these are the colors. He's like, but I'm going to go by his office today and I'm going to make sure. And then I'm going to order the yarn once I know the colors. Because I know I don't have them um, like solids in those colors. So I will be ordering some here shortly. Ooh, thunderstorms today. That's kind of exciting that we're going to get some thunderstorms. But anyway, so I'll be ordering some yarn here shortly. Today, probably. <laughs> A couple of skeins. I think I need blue and white and black. But like I said, he's going to make sure. So I'll share that next week if I order it or whenever it does eventually come. Um, so reading and watching. We are still watching Cowboy Way. I think we're on season four of that. So nothing too exciting to report there. It's just an easy to watch reality TV show. I was blanking on what it was called. Reality TV show. <laughs> uh, reading. I'm still reading Freedom McFadden books. I finished Never Lie. And then just last night, I finished The Coworker. Loved both of them, as I have all of her books. And then this morning, when I got on the treadmill, I started reading The Housemaid. So there's, so far, there's two books in the housemaid not all of her books are like series but this one is a series there's two books and then the third one comes out in i think june so i just started the first one so far it has sucked me in already i'm not far into it and i'm already enjoying it all right life stuff not too much to report on that front either i live a pretty routine 
boring life that I love. <laughs> but we did have company in town over the weekend, so there was that. Eric actually worked from home Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday. The boys were off Friday and Monday, and my mother-in-law got in town Friday and went home Tuesday. We went antiquing, out to lunch, church, all the normal things. <laughs> like I said, a very routine, routine life. <laughs> All right, I think that's kind of it for today. I feel like I flew through this episode. I apologize if I went so fast. I don't know why I was like so speedy on everything today. But I hope that you guys enjoyed the quick little episode and that you got a little bit of making time in while you were watching. And I hope that you guys have a good week and I will see you again next week. Until then, happy making. Bye.